how to downgrade your redmi k20 pro from mi ui 12 to mi ui 11 what's up peeps munchy here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can downgrade your redmi k20 pro from mi ui 12 to mi ui 11 before you ask me why are we downgrading well it is a personal preference some people like mi ui 11 better than mi ui 12 and some people think that the performance is better on mi ui 11 as compared to mi ui 12 so it is all a personal preference now what are the prerequisites for this video the prerequisites for this video are you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have twrp recovery installed make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device because if we run into any boot loops or any encryption issues you will have to do a format data from twrp recovery now why are we using twerp recovery well we're doing this because if you try to downgrade from system updater application you will get a message that you cannot go back to the previous version so xiaomi has blocked the downgrade from miui 12 to miui 11 using the system updater application so we have only one option left which is to use a custom recovery so for starters we can go into settings and then we'll go into about phone as you can see i am running miui 12.0.2.0 based on android 10 on my redmi k20 pro next thing you need to know is whether your device is encrypted or not so you'll go into settings password and security privacy you can see that encryption and credentials says phone not encrypted which means my device is decrypted which means i will have to flash disable force encryption if your device is encrypted then you do not have to flash disable force encryption and that brings us to the question that what are the files which we need so here are the files which you need you need miui 11 full rom zip file i am using 11.0.6.0 based on android 10 for my redmi k20 pro then because my device is decrypted or not encrypted i need to flash disable force encryption and we need the magisk zip file as well now what if you do not flash magisk well in that case when you boot back into miui 11 your twrp recovery will be replaced with stock recovery so that is why we need to flash magisk now moving over to the steps the first thing you need to do is you'll go into settings and then you'll go into password and security and remove your password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done you will go back scroll down go into me account and remove your me account once that is done you will go back scroll down go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you've removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we're going from miui 12 to miui 11 and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to boot into twrp recovery so for that the first thing we need to do is turn off our device and once the device has turned off we need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the twerp recovery boot logo now once you have booted into twrp we'll go into wipe advanced wipe and wipe dalvik cache and data that's it you do not have to select system and vendor because when you flash the full rom file from miui the system and vendor partitions are actually overwritten so wiping of system and vendor is just redundant we're going to just swipe to wipe and once that is done tap on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i've transferred them manually so they are in the root directory the first file which we need to select is the miui 11 file and then we will tap on add more zips and if your device was 
decrypted or not encrypted we need to select disable force encryption if your device was encrypted then you shouldn't even have downloaded disable force encryption in the first place next up we will tap on add more zips and the last file which we need to select is the magisk file and once you have selected all the files we are going to swipe to confirm flash once all the files have flashed successfully we will scroll up and make sure everything was flashed fine and there were no errors so we have script succeeded result was one this is for the miui 11 file next up we have disable force encryption and with disable force encryption you do need to make sure that it is patching some f stab so as you can see it is patching our f stab in vendor slash etc and here we have magisk was also flashed successfully so we will click on the home button now there are some situations wherein disable force encryption does not patch any f stab what do you do then you go into mount make sure that vendor is mounted and then flash disable force encryption one more time followed by magisk another situation is sometimes magisk will say error one what do you do in that situation well in that situation all you need to do is go into reboot select recovery it will boot back into twrp and then flash the magisk file and it will flash absolutely fine for now we will skip those steps and we'll go into reboot and select system and there it is we do have the redmi boot animation on our redmi k20 pro which means our device is booting into miui 11 the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on miui 11 setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and there it is we have successfully completed the initial setup we can now go into settings about phone here it is miui 11.0.6.0 based on android 10 running on the redmi k20 pro we can also check for encryption so we'll go back into settings password and security and then we can go into privacy here it is phone not encrypted which means disable force encryption was flashed successfully and the last thing which we can check is whether we still have twrp recovery or not so again turn the device off and then press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twrp recovery boot logo and there it is you can see that we still have twrp recovery so there it is peeps that is how you downgrade your redmi k20 pro from miui 12 to miui 11 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you